behold, the oldest computer I own. Let's take a look. This is the Dell Optiplex GN Plus, a high-end business PC released back in 1997, and according to my archive of PC World magazines, it cost about $4,000. The front has the power and reset buttons, a 3.5-inch floppy disk drive, an 8x CD-ROM drive, as well as the Windows 95 and Pentium MMX badges. On the rear, we've got a parallel port, an RS-232 serial port, two PS2 ports for keyboard and mouse, a second RS-232 serial port for just a mouse, built-in VGA and Ethernet, and the video and sound cards that I've added. This computer has no built-in sound at all. Pressing the release button on the power supply and folding it to the side, we can get a look at the passively cooled 200 MHz Pentium 1 and 32 MB of SRAM. Oddly, the PCI and MSA slots are on a small daughter board that can be slid out of the PC for ease of access. Taking a closer look at the daughter board, we've got three PCI slots and three MSA slots, and all the pins run down to a single supersized connector at the bottom. I've added an OEM Sound Blaster 64 sound card and a way overpowered 64 megabyte Radeon 7000 GPU. For the peripherals, I chose a Microsoft IntelliMouse and ergonomic keyboard. And for the monitor, there was really only one choice. Let's get to gaming. I've cut out the loading times because this is all still running off of the original 4GB hard drive. Need for Speed 3 is clearly dropping some frames here. I know the GPU is plenty powerful enough, so I'm guessing our Pentium is the bottleneck here. Although running the graphics and sound off of the PCI bus isn't doing us any favors either. I couldn't get the GPU rendering to work in Quake 1, but the CPU can render it just fine at 320 by 240 resolution. And last, but not least, I had to throw in Polaris Snowcross, since this was one of my favorite games as a child. I wasn't expecting much, since this game lists a 300MHz Pentium 2 as a requirement, but I thought I'd give it a go anyways. You are 
as you can see, it wasn't really playable. There isn't really a whole lot you can do with this computer as it sits, but in the future I'd like to maybe add more RAM, get a Voodoo card, and maybe install an AMD K6. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to hit that like button, and consider subscribing if you'd like to see what I make next. I'll see you next time.